Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today we have finally made it to the final hospital in the main story of Two Point Hospital. We're here for, uh, and I'm so going to butcher this, Crokenbush. Here we go. It's been a, a long, long journey to get here, but we're finally here, and we're going to smash out this hospital as well. Um, this hustle, obviously, quite hard, kind of goes without saying. Um, let me just pause that here. Um, we need to, for the first star, cure 250 patients, get a cure rate of 70%, reputation of 70%, and a hospital value of 2.5 million. Now, it's effectively the same when you get to star 2, but it's 600 patients, 80% and 5 million, and then star 3, thousand patients 90 percent and 10 million thousand patients that is going to take forever so be prepared for a lot of videos here also we need to get our hospital value spot on so that means we need to really protect our growth so as always i'm going to take things nice and slow i'm going to tank the reputation just to stunt our um inflow really early on i know that's not for everyone but it's how i play and it's how i make sure that we get a sustainable hospital that we can grow and grow and grow and have no issues with. Now in terms of rooms, you pretty much got every single room here, um, which is no surprises there. To protect your cure rate though, I recommend not building a surgery, but that's just me. Now this room is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice starter room. You can see we're gonna have lots of room to expand. I mean, look at all of these. This place is actually mahusive. Um, to the point where, you know, and quite expensive as well. Um, but it's to the point where you could probably have like two diagnosis um, like buildings and then two treatment buildings like almost have like two separate hospitals running alongside each other so you can see that the helipad here is there a second one yes there it is second one here so people are going to take a decent amount of time to get here so you want to make sure that when we do get treatment rooms you probably want to be building one here and there, probably unlocking those rooms first to make sure that essentially any emergencies can get in quite quickly. So, here we go. What do we start with first? So first, temperature check. As always, um, we're gonna need some radiators. And we're gonna need some staff too. Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed. There's just, ah, oh, it's, it's the final hospital. Uh, so let's bring this down to 85%, fast track decision making, promote staff automatically. It's what I do every single time. Who have we got to hire? Obviously, we're gonna have no good doctors because why make my life any easier? Um, we're gonna have a ward nurse, Uh, yeah, I'll take that assistant. I'll also take that assistant. And uh, for a janitor, ooh, nice maintenance there. And we have a good repair there. Perfect. Let's get a, a reception desk in. And I mean, really, like, these people are going to come from everywhere. So, because, like, the subway's here, there's a road there. They could come from the helipads. Um, and there's a subway here, so really, see, they can literally come from any angle. So there's going to be no real, like, preferred place to put your reception. You could go with two receptions and have one at either end, um, or have four receptions, essentially. But, you know, if you put it here, if you put it here, it, it's not going to make any difference. I'm just putting it there because it points towards over here. I, to be honest, I have no real reason I'm putting it there just because I fancy putting it there. And this is my video. Uh, so, 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 uh, templates. Let's. Hmm. Template contains one or more locked items. No, it doesn't. Um, so, let's get a GP room off the bat. And 
Let's also get a pharmacy down. Not that I've got anyone to work in said pharmacy yet, but I'll stick those down. I will also get a staff room, which, yeah, does not have any locked rooms. You liars. And then a training room. Now, I built these templates. I can quickly run through, um, or I'm just going to quickly hover over each one, just so you guys know um, how I build it. So I have essentially these punching bags because they massively um, benefit, massively, massively benefit. Uh, essentially, anyone who comes in here just instantly, instantly feels great. Great happiness here, as you can see. We've got some energy drinks machines here and some snacks. They've got all your food requirements in there. GP room, pretty standard. All the lovely medicine cabinets. Um, it is, yeah, level five, all good. Got the desk quite close to the door so you can get quick in and out access. Now, some people like to put, say, a coffee machine over here just for the idle animations of the doctors. Um, and some people actually don't like these corridors here and they prefer the medicine cabinets to be length, well, horizontal here instead of vertical corridors. I prefer the vertical corridors just because it's quick and easier access straight to this desk, whereas the horizontal one, the doctor's got to go up and left, whereas this one's just down. Pharmacy, pretty straightforward. Um, again, some people like to put a little chair in here or a little candy machine, again, coffee machine, just for the idle animation of the nurse. It's not really much of a problem for me, so I don't have them in. And then the training room. Um, make sure you get the posters on the wall to get that 1% extra training speed. And then all the lovely bookcases is gonna help speed things up. So I already can't remember who I hired. So I'm just gonna have a Quick look, we do not have a doctor, and I actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly, 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 whilst we have no one here, get this, come on, train, teacher qualification, there we go. Quickly get that customer service trained for that other um, uh, assistant. Let's get that done real quick, right at the start. And I'm hoping we're going to get a lovely, lovely doctor coming in. Yeah, fairly quick. Let's keep a lookout for our first patient. Where are they going to come from? Which entrance? Yeah, we need a doctor. I know we need a doctor. Not good that we don't have a doctor. But I'm going to have to hire this one no matter what. And hopefully look, be on the lookout for a good one. So yeah, this isn't a terrible doctor to have for now. Uh, because they've got two lots of diagnosis and a GP trait. So I'm going to hire them. Um, I will not keep this doctor. I guarantee I will not keep this doctor. Sorry doctor, you won't be kept. Quickly get a janitor in here, get a ghost capture janitor coming in. Uh, not ideal to be spending money on training, uh, non-essential training so early, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it just because I want a ghost capture janitor. I'm also, while I'm here, going to make sure this janitor only repairs machines and puts out fires, whereas these two don't repair machines. And we have our first cure. One out of 250 to go. And we start making that money. So don't need any of these assistants. And let's keep on the lookout for some good staff. Is this going to be cure number two? Yes, it is. And this is how we start. Um, we can, yeah, we can get an upgrade on this drug mixer. That's going to be really good. We need some more staff coming in. I know our hostel value has taken a dip, but I'm not worried about that. Oh, our first no cure. That's a shame. And here we go. GP. Perfect. And I'm actually going to drop him in. And I'm going to get him trained on the GP2 straight away. Whilst we've got this doctor to cover, I'm going to take full advantage of that. 
Hopefully that won't take too long to, to do. Oh, so what? So th this challenge is great, right? Um, three uh, maintenance, a stamina training, and already to do the maintenance for. This would be a perfect janitor to hire. Um, it's quite expensive though, and I don't want that price um, or that cost, sorry, straight away when I'm probably not going to be doing too hot on money straight away in the game. So I'm going to say no to them. But that, that was quite painful, to be honest. We got an emergency. We do not have Turtle Head at the moment, but keep that in mind. We're going to have a Turtle Head emergency, so we're going to want to have it quite near the helipad. So this should be done. Should quickly get some cures out. Let's knock them out. Let's see, what are our chances of curing this person? 5 to 91, it's not bad at all. And we got our GP practice, two training done. So let's just get them working in the GP rooms only. Not that we have any other rooms for them to work in. And yes, let's get. I just don't like the bed. Ah. I would prefer it if it was just pharmacy management. Let's say this no to this one. Not a bad janitor to have because they've already got ghost and emotional intelligence. Pretty good. Got another one ready there, so you could do motivation or stamina training. I really got one, so I'm, I'm it's the only reason I'm not hiring them. Oh, I'm torn for the nurse. So bedside manner is pretty good. It's going to help increase the happiness of patients. Um, usually for a pharmacy, I would have the pharmacy management and then. Um, I would have treatment, treatment, treatment. So I'm going to hold off for now. Oh, you're going to be knackered. So look how quick that energy goes up, that right bar. Look how quick. Absolutely smashing it. So let's drop them back in there. I believe they're. Yeah, they're a ward nurse, so we, we've already got a ward nurse ready to, um, what am I trying to say? Already got a ward nurse ready to promote, don't even have a ward yet. Let's get a maintenance training done. Again, you probably argue that you shouldn't do those sort of training straight off the bat because you might not have um, the cash flow to do it, so don't feel like you do have to do that. Both of these two pretty good to be honest if yeah yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that pretty good probably hire both of them so I'm saying no to the psychiatrist at the moment just because I don't have a psychiatrist so I'm just gonna stick them out for now and you can see we're getting quite a range of illnesses coming straight in so that's gonna affect our cure rate because we're gonna be sending a lot of them home and that's just going to be the way it's going to be. Promote free staff. Ah, I'd, I'd love to promote free staff. Janitor, Always happy to promote Janitor, staff. Mixer. Not just repair job mixer. I actually want to tag that for an upgrade. Should be able to get... Yeah, we'll be able to cure that patient before it needs... Um, maintaining and instead of maintaining what we'll actually do is we'll get the upgrade because it actually resets the health of the machine when you upgrade it at the same time so if you ever feel like um, timing it just to perfection uh, let's just put him in here quickly get that drink insert Dwayne and get that upgraded we do not have animal magnetism, but again, let's keep that in mind. Like Reset our prices. Yeah, you need to be in here ready to maintain that, because yeah, that is close to now being game over. 
Sack. I think if we try, be a Who have we got? No, 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 no. Give me some music to get you started. So whilst that machine's being maintained, it's going to be a perfect time to... Hang on. I did... Yeah. Sorry. I got confused then. Ward Management 2. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought it was Ward Management 1. I was like, hang on. I've only got one nurse. What's going on here? But we're getting this upgraded. There we go. And you can see it's fully repaired now as well. Might make the repair just a bit longer, but uh, sorry, the upgrade just a bit longer, but it's worth it. Getting it all done in one go. I'm sure it would improve our uh, reputation if we lowered the price, but we ain't going to. We have the abdominal. Okay, so let's have a look. Who have we got? We got. This one, we have this one. How many other people have we got? Two more people. One more. Bless you. What they were doing it then. I'm going to gamble it's you just because you're sneezing. There we go. Bit of extra money straight away. Can't complain. And just have a place to put the toilets. No real good place at the moment. So I'm going to stick it here for now. I'm going to do my usual toilets. Where I have three along here. I stick a sink here and a sink there. Sneak a hand dryer in this corner with a radiator. And then some gold stars. You have to be a bit tighter with these ones if you want to make it all the way to five stars. I usually just make it to four, but let's see if I can. Not usually that first about the prestige of the toilet. There we go. There we go. Put a toilet in there and let's put some radiators down. Management's done. Brilliant. There we go. Alright. So that's what we want to see. Now, what we could do... So, we've got a choice here. We could train them in GP and get them... Uh, essentially, we'll be able to then fire that other doctor that we've got that's way too expensive and as a pollute skill tree, or, which is what I'm going to do, is we can get them trained in psychiatry. We know we need a psychiatrist, uh, we don't have one at the moment, and it would just be good to get one in. We have a pharmacy nurse, and we have another nurse that I can actually then train as a pharmacy nurse. So let's just pause things, let's get this set up right. Oh. There we go. Nurses. Alright. So I'm going to tag this one to only work in the ward, which doesn't exist at the moment, but it will do. And have these two only tagged as pharmacy. Perfect. Sophie it doesn't need repairing because it is repaired. Corrupt by a local hospital this morning. The press release said she was offering to share her company's I'm just going to move this to 
over here because what I want to do is I want to build a psychiatry just here. I want it close to the GP's office just so people can move quickly from one room to the other. And let's, let's put this pretty close to the door. Oh, just so people can get in and out. I'm just gonna put the chair here, perfect. Now, this is a diagnosis room, or this can be a diagnosis room, shall I say. Therefore, we have lovely opportunity for medicine cabinets, which means you get to watch. It wouldn't be an episode if you did not get to watch me struggle with the medicine cabinets now, would it? Whilst I'm struggling, do me a favor. Make sure just to scroll down just slightly below. Check to see if you're subscribed. Really appreciate it. If you subscribe to the channel, really helps me out. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, makes me so happy every time I see a new subscriber. If you're enjoying my guides, make sure to check out the whole playlist. Um, I'm gonna be doing the DLC um, next after this I know a lot of people in the comment section have asked for it um, and reached out to me so how can I say no to that so I'm gonna get the two deal uh, sorry all four DLCs done and then we will have every hospital you could ask for so yeah if you're if you're enjoying them make sure that you um, subscribe to the channel make sure that you give the videos a like just you know let me know down in the comment section below you know what what are you enjoying are you finding the guys useful and as always reach out if you've got any questions at all always happy to help all right, nearly done. There we go, all right, now I'm done with that. We should have a psychiatrist coming soon. We've got this upgrade, so perfect. Ooh, a whole 11 patients cured, look at us. We are gonna build a ward pretty soon. No, I can confirm I have not seen said pen. Training course complete. Class dismissed. Alright. This one's going to be a bit of a pain. Because I don't want to pay the money because we're not doing too great on money. Uh, but it's going to be a bit of a pain because we're going to take people out of action essentially. Just slightly. Whilst we sort this out, and this is for yeah, 25 days. Isn't great, but I'd rather not pay the money to be honest. Oh, I will take that on. Hopefully, this won't take too much longer yeah 14 days perfect and let's have a look where are our emergency patients coming from so the helicopters drop them off so they're coming from all the way from over here and they're going all the way around and in now look they're already at 15 days 16 17 18 19 so 20 days before they even get to walk in so that's why we need to position these sort of things close to any helipads. Constantly making sure you've got those prices up every time you see a new um, di um, a new uh, illness diagnosed, found, discovered, words, you know. So we got one done. There we go. 
And that took about 10 days. So we should pass this. It shouldn't be an issue passing it, to be honest. Yes. I'm going to stick them in. And because we've got the emergency, I'm not going to... Well, I I'm going to pay for that um, doctor to be trained in psychiatry. And because we're going to make a decent amount from, from this emergency, so we can afford it. And I'd rather um, keep the psychiatrist here so we pass the emergency. And look, we're getting 10k a pop as well. So this train is going to cost 15k, so it's going to be more than enough to cover it. Let's get another nurse in. And now we're going to... I'm going to get this one trained in ward management, and we're going to have... Pretty much all we need to set up our ward. Ooh. These are pretty good, especially because they're cheap. We have a lot of idle chances at the moment, though. But yeah, we passed the emergency, which is great. And let's see what awards we win in our first year. Here we go. Not bad at all. I expected the best teaching hospital to be honest because we've been pumping out a lot of training and yeah, we hadn't killed anyone. So it's, it's always easier to get that one straight away. Uh, we haven't done any research. So yeah, that doesn't surprise me and our reputation isn't great. So yeah, pretty much as good as we're gonna get at this stage of the game with the strategy that we're taking. We go another emergency done. We got a promo. He's been promoted. Ah, he's been promoted. Perfect. So I'm gonna get this one now trained in ward management. And I think it's gonna be time to build that ward now. Let's see. It's just a bit of a awkward place to put it. Just gonna pause it for a sec. lag there. There we go. Got my two screens in and I can now get some beds in. Mm. I'm not going to have space so thought I'd have space just to build one extra. Let's move that here and then we can stick that here. It's a pretty decent sized ward to be honest. Like we could Probably make it skinnier, I'd say. But we're here now. Yeah, we got quite a lot of space there. That's good. Let's get a large radiator in. And some gold stars. You get a gold star. You get a gold star. You get a gold star. You Everyone gets a gold star. If Oprah is handing out gold stars, that is. Let's get some around here. There we go. Oh, what's the invalid item? Radiator. No problem. All right, now we've got this set up. Let's change it to have an extra staff member. There we go. So, ah, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We are doing good. I will take another ward nurse. That is going to put us at perfect for our ward nurses for now. I 
and we can afford to injection room there. We can afford to have not that many, um, or not as many staff, because our um, staff room is so good that it turns um, essentially staff out pretty quickly. So let's just pause for a set and have a look what we have. So it would be good to get that one trained in, or Dan trained in psychiatry level two. It would also be good to get our nurses trained in treatment here. And we've got a doctor who can do it fairly rapid. So I'm going to get both of them in. So let's get that. Yeah, that's been kicked off. Hopefully it won't cause too much of a queue here. Yeah, great time to repair the machine. Yeah, it's looking good. It is looking good. If I don't say so myself, that is. There we go, we've got our treatments trained. We could have ward management two trained here. Let's get that done. It's 110, so it's not the quickest, but it'll get done fairly quick. The hustle value is already at 1 million. So yeah, we're doing well. Let's have a look. Overview. Yeah, we're making a decent amount of profit. Um, yeah, we've got a decent amount of cash. Yeah, yeah, quite happy with that. But we need to keep on top of it. So, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We have a great doctor to have there. I feel like I'm, I'm now being blessed with the um, staff gods. Um, so janitors, 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 janitors. I need a, yeah, I'm going to make another maintenance. I've got that one cleaning at the moment, so that's not going to be a problem. Assistants, we're kind of fine with. Nurses, we're fine with the pharmacy. We're fine with the ward. That's all we need right now. Doctors, we need another GP so I can get rid of this one. Yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm going to keep that one just in my hand for now. Because I'm going to stick them in the training room. As soon as I can. And we should start thinking about building some treatment rooms. Rather than just only using the ward and the pharmacy and the psychiatry as treatment rooms. So we can get this one trained as a GP. Perfect. Let's send these home for now. Alright. Should we get plot 2? Or should we get plot 11? Ah, I'm going to go with 2. For absolutely no reason whatsoever. Other than... It's top right rather than bottom left. There, there is no reason. So if you want to get bottom left, you get bottom left. I think these are the better plots to get. Just, well, I mean, you can get any of the corner ones, to be honest. They're all the same size. But um, I'd rather get these because it's close to the main building and it's close to the helipad. So I'd probably go for, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I'd probably go for the top right or the bottom left because it's close to the helipad. Oh, we, ki we killed our first person. Where are they? How did they die? Ward. Must be the ward. Abdominal curse. I'm so sorry, person who died. Alright. You. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else have we got? 
you. Any more? There must be. Two more. This one. Let's just have a quick look at our... Have I set this up wrong? Yeah, let's let's get you off that. Let's... Yeah, you'll knack it. Right. You've probably been working there for a while. Let's get you in there. Ah, there you go. There's the last one. Perfect. Higher. Let's see. Another GP. Yeah, always going to say yes to GPs. Nurse. Yes. Going to hire a nurse which has treatment in. And I'm going to train this janitor in maintenance. Have my second maintenance janitor. And let's have a look. We have this one here. And treatment. So. So, 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 we should start building a treatment room. So, Clan Clinic, Chromotherapy, Pest Control, and Cryptology. We could also uh, get them trained as a injection specialist, because they've got that free training slot, and build an injection room all are going to be fine to build we haven't had i don't think we've had any of these come up yet but we have had the injection room come up so i think what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to set them to be an injection nurse so once this training's done i'm going to get them trained in uh, what am i going to get them trained in i'm going to get them trained in the injection training tree I've been told to read the Don't quite know what it's called. I'm going to get them trained in that. And then there will be Any an injection. Any speculation nurse. made by Mr. Wolf was made in the name of entertainment and was not intended to alarm listeners. Well, you know me. See you next time. So, where are we? So, we got 36 patient cured so far. Cure rate, not really fussed at right now, just because we're so far away from getting that 250 it doesn't really matter uh, reputation do you know what reputation is not doing bad considering all the prices are sky high and then hustle value pretty good happy with the hustle value pan's lab jess infection so that is a clown clinic hmm I sent them home, didn't I? Yeah, I sent them home. All right, okay. I was considering whether I wanted to build a clan clinic or not, but I sent them home, so it don't matter. Hey, GP, get in here. Oh, you're already there. No problem. Ignore me. We got that cure. Gonna ha all that training about to be done. Let's get this nurse trained. I'm get I am gonna get them. I am gonna get them trained in injection administration. Yes, I am. Done. Can't go back on that. I'm also going to get this one trained on it as well. So there you go. I'm going to have two injection nurses. So if I'm going to have two injection nurses, let's get an injection room. Now look how big this is. So injection room, very similar to the pharmacy. I'm going to stick that top right. I'm going to make sure that I've got room for... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Make sure I've got room for a fire extinguisher. Make sure I've got room for a, a leotard. And then I'm going to absolutely spam medicine cabinets. Come on. Let's try this way instead. No, no, you're just gonna. You're not gonna play ball for me, are you? Oh, no, why, why would I make this video easy? The people love to see you um, struggle with these. There we go. Let's get them in. Should, can we fit in another? Can we sneak in another? I don't think we're gonna be able to. 
yeah, no, we're not going to be able to. So in that case, what I should do is move that to there. Utilize the space. Really should build a template. The, the template functionality is rather new for uh, console players. So I've, I've not really actually spent the time going around and creating templates for all my rooms. Mainly because I've been too lazy, to be honest. But also because I know that um, you guys love to see me struggle so much with these that I wouldn't want to take that away from you. I know. I am such a lovely human being. Plus I get the opportunity to show you guys exactly how I build them. Oh, already there. And I'm going to get this tag for an upgrade straight away. Let's get that done. All right. What else did I do? I got so... All right, three GPs, one GP room, so we should get that address at some point, get another GP room, probably when we go over the level six, which is when we're going to hire someone else, probably. And we have this. Yeah, that doctor needs to get trained, because otherwise they're not going to get any more experience points, because they're so close to being promotion, uh, so close to getting another promotion. So, so essentially, you see here, yeah, they're already at 250, so they actually will not get to star 3 until I train them again. But the second I train them again, star 3 will be unlocked straight away. So at the moment, all the diagnosis they're doing, to be honest, is a waste. Or diagnosis and treatment is a waste, because they're, they're not getting any experience for it. A waste to them anyway, obviously not a waste to me. There we go. Let's get that done. And Dwayne Pillow. What a name. Well done, Dwayne. Uh, 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 turn around. Come on, come on, come on. Don't. Why are you going over there? Uh, uh, come on. D Dwayne. 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 Where are you going, Dwayne? Dwayne, stop it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause now, Dwayne. I'm going to pick you up. And you come back here. <laughs> um, all right. I have to listen to me going, Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. <laughs> um, so, 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 so. I actually don't like the layout of this room. Um, just because I don't really like these corners that much. Because it's it's kind of awkward, just this space here. And there's a lot of open space here. A lot of open space. Typical, we get an injection there. What training slots have we got? We've actually... That one, so it got promoted straight away. So let's actually get them trained in Psychiatry 3. Ooh. Yeah, let's get them trained straight away, why not? And I am actually just going to move this. I'm going to stick it. We've had a plethora here. of great questions. And so I think that is a much better space for us. And then I'm going to pick this up and just put it in this corner here. And eventually I'll have more GP officers here. The reason why I think it's a better space here um, is because I didn't like the fact that people were walking through the queue this way to come straight across here. Although. I can actually now move this to our treatment area. I don't want the don't want that because that's going to be too close to the door. I could have it here, but then I'll have people that are queuing. Hmm. Could have it there, but yeah, people are going to end up queuing right next to the door. So what I can do is I can either put it two space along and I can fit a toilets in there or I could stick it three space along and stick a staff room. The word is staff room. 
I'm going to do the latter. I'm going to stick a staff room in there. Basically, what this is going to make sure is that all my stuff aren't going ages, ages. Oh, uh, that is not a staff room. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, going miles out of their way to essentially go on break. Especially in the treatment building, we're now going to call this. I just built a, another GP's room. Um, I said as soon as I got to level seven um, that I would, just because you can see, it's starting to get a bit of a queue. So always good to have another GP's office for that. We've got three GP's, so getting to the point where maybe we want to think about getting another on board. Prices up. And I'm really on the lookout for treatment doctors and nurses. We didn't finish it, sir. I've got my free QPs. I'm now going to get rid of this, this guy. Dr. Leo Doom, you are cut. You're out of here. Got some decent janitors popping up. Ooh. I'm coming up to nearly 50 patients done. I've got a hostile value of 1.5 million. So that's going pretty well. Um, it's probably our cash that's kind of just dipping it slightly at the moment. We've got a nice little diagnosis area. I've got the training room in here for now uh, that will eventually move. Especially once we need more and more diagnosis rooms. What trainings can we do? this train. I'll pay for it. Just so then I've still got someone in the psychiatry. We got another promotion. Yes, I will take that nurse. Because uh, I actually have nothing out there to buy. That is why you will not buy something. So let's. Oh, I only want you to work here. Impress the VIP. I'm going to send them home, but I'm going to build a clown clinic. Because I'm just going to get that nurse trained in treatment. Or are they already trained in treatment? No. Yeah, I'm going to get this nurse trained in treatment. Oh, an earthquake! We haven't had anything of these yet. End of year approaching. Panic! Ah, that was real good for a hostile value, that core. Chromotherapy, again, that's something that we can build with our nurse as a treatment nurse. And let's have a look. Not as good. We did have someone die. Uh, still not researching. Um, hospital of the year, because I'm assuming another hospital won all four, so therefore we didn't get that. It's really weird. If it's a tie, we don't get it. So I'd like to think the other hospital doesn't get it either, but... Yeah. So let's get treatment done. And I basically just to pick any one of them. Doctor promoted. Smashing. 
Trousers, Kevin rates him. Salutations, Ricky. How should one barter on Earth? I am going to hire another janitor at some point. Trousers, it's always been my policy to take the local currency to an emporium and exchange the requisite amount as priced by the Just because my maintenance chances, um, I only have them repairing machines, nothing else. Therefore, I expect these to be maintained pretty good. So, rooms. Let's go with a clan clinic first. And I'm only going to say that because I'm pretty sure that was the last thing that someone asked us for. I'm going to stick the door in the end here. Stick this as close as possible. So, they actually come in on this side here. So, you even want to stick it right there. Or right here just so they're getting in as quickly as possible. And by they, I mean the patient, of course. Get a fire extinguisher down. Radio in the corner. Gold star time. There we go. Get an upgrade on that as well. And we can actually train that guy. Should we think about getting that done? Uh, I said I was going to get another janitor. So I have. That's, that's all the explanation I'm going to give you there. I do what I say. I'm going to quickly get them trained in Ghost Capture. Yeah, that's what I say, I shouldn't have any nurse problems there. And we're at 60 people cured. We are doing well. Mm, let me just see, what was the nurse situation? Um, no. Now it's a tough one, because I could have built a fracture ward, essentially. But no one's wanted a fracture ward. I wasn't really going to hire someone who's tagged as expensive, so I'm fine with that. So I just hired a doctor. So I can either stick them on GP, because I do need another GP doctor. Really good. I could get away with three there, to be honest. Don't need another psychiatrist, although they do need to go in the room, it seems. So let's get you in there. And you are in there, so that's fine. But what it does mean is that this doctor I should be getting on treatment. So number of rooms that they can be looking at. I'm gonna get them trained as soon as possible and then get that treatment room stuck in. Dwayne, again, smashing it. Now, let's do better here. I'm just going to pick you up, put you back down. Dwayne, you're a legend. So, I've had a few people needing Deluxe and Pan's Lab. So, I'm going to go Deluxe. Ah, no, I'm going to go Pan's Lab. Pan's Lab. Change last second. Uh, just because I can remember in my head we've had more people asking for Pan's Lab than we have Deluxe. Again, the only reason why. So they are essentially, so you can see the little footprints, right? It's where the patient and the staff member is going to be. So patient is going to be where my cursor is now. Staff member is going to be there. Fire extinguisher pretty close to the door. Radiator and gold stars. Perfect. And then we can get this tag for an upgrade. 
as soon as Dwayne's done over there, he's gonna head right over. We got our ghost training nearly done. So then I can drop this one in. Derek Brisket. Well done on your promotion. Just give my staff members shout outs. I feel like it, it helps motivate them. You know? Doctor required a GP's office. Come on. A fracture ward required, just what I said. I haven't seen anyone need a fracture ward. <laughs> oh. 120, 110. <laughs> 120. Alright, I'll get you trained there. Um, nope. Definitely not. Shock horror is a no for now. Won't be forever. I'm going to get you trained in treatment as well. Two treatment nurses. This tagged. Yeah, two treatment nurses just so we can open up some more treatment rooms. And chest infection. That's yes, let's absolutely right. take that on. But we're not going to watch it because I am going to cut this here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it, found it useful so far. And comment down below let me know how you are finding this final hospital why are the clowns going down there just to turn around <sighs> oh dear all right let me move this one because otherwise i will forget before the next episode but yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next episode bye for now